Fisheries Management for Healthy Ecosystems and Thriving Communities. In this video, we will explore the status of fisheries worldwide and in the Philippines, the threat of overfishing, and how fisheries management can lead to healthier oceans and more prosperous livelihoods. There are many organisms or living things in the marine ecosystem. Each of them plays an important role, including fish. Fish are important because they help maintain the health of marine ecosystems and provide support to other marine life. They are an important part of the food web because they are predators to smaller organisms and prey to marine mammals and seabirds. Globally, they also support humans. About 80 million tons of fish are harvested annually. This volume is enough to feed all Filipinos with their annual fish consumption for 20 years. And there are currently about 60 million people working in the fishing industry globally. But on a global scale, 33% of fisheries are overfished, meaning too many fish are being harvested. This may cause fish populations to become depleted and not able to recover. 67% are fully exploited, meaning additional fishing effort could lead to the fisheries collapse. Only 10% have room to grow. With just 10% of the fisheries having room to grow, we might experience a global fishing crisis. There is no single definition for small-scale fisheries, but they frequently involve fishing communities using small boats on short fishing trips. Oftentimes, their harvests are for subsistence and local consumption. They make up 37% of global fishing harvest and 90% of global capture fishing jobs. However, two out of every three small-scale fisheries are estimated to be depleted meaning they can no longer support the people who depend on them. The Philippines is home to over 1.6 million small-scale fishers. Small-scale fishers in the Philippines are the poorest of the poor. Without making changes to how we manage Philippine fisheries, fish populations may continue to decline, which may lead to small-scale fishers remaining impoverished or even losing their livelihoods. As fish populations continue to decline, achieving food security also becomes more challenging as fish, a cheap and nutritious source of protein, become harder to catch. The challenge lies in understanding fish populations better. Normal fisheries have many juveniles that are too young to reproduce, adults that can make babies, and large fish called megaspawners that can make more and healthier babies than regular-sized adults. The juveniles grow into adults that can have babies, and some adults survive long enough to become megaspawners that produce more babies. But not all juveniles survive to adulthood, and not all adults survive to become megaspawners. If left undisturbed, the fish population can continue the natural cycle of reproduction, growth, and death. Fishing results in more deaths in a fish population, in addition to natural deaths from illness or old age. Without proper fisheries management, there is a risk of overfishing. Overfishing is when more fish are harvested than can be replenished. With decreased births, the population will decline and eventually collapse. If too many juveniles are caught, not enough will be able to grow into adults and have babies. Without enough future adults to produce babies, the population will decline. Similarly, if too many adults and megaspawners are caught, fewer survive and are able to reproduce. With less reproduction, the fish population will decline. Eventually, the fishery will collapse. So how can fisheries management help? Fisheries management aims to promote thriving fisheries, ecosystems, and communities. It can help prevent overfishing, or help overfished fisheries recover by managing the amount of fish that are harvested. It also promotes stewardship. It creates a system where stakeholders participate in decision-making for healthy fisheries. This helps reduce conflict between fishers. 
This results in stable fish populations, livelihoods, and food sources that can be sustained for years to come. So how does fisheries management work? At the core, it seeks to answer three questions. Number one, what types of fish are there? And how many of them are in the fisheries? To start, we need to know the current state of the fish population. Number two, how many can be sustainably harvested? Based on the current population, we can estimate how many fish can be harvested without disrupting the cycle of reproduction. Number three, given the answers to one and two, how should fishing practices be adjusted to achieve a healthy fish population? It is important for fisheries management to be responsive to these questions and the fisheries goals. We have to consider trade-offs among fishing effort, employment, and fish population. Higher fishing effort means more employment for fishers, but less fish for the community in the long run. Lower fishing effort means less employment for fishers, but more fish for the community in the long run. Understanding these trade-offs is the first step to setting goals for a fishery. Through fisheries management, we can help ensure that the marine ecosystem and the livelihoods that depend on it remain stable so we can have fish for now and for future generations. Visit www.edf.org slash oceans to learn more.